Welcome to this lesson on how to edit a custom query with XLGL. In this lesson, we will dive more in depth into custom query creation. This is an advanced topic and requires some technical knowledge of relational databases. To get started, we will create a new table of data and select custom query, then apply. We'll bring in the journal header table and add a couple of fields, namely, the post order, module, transaction date, and reference. Hit the run button to see a preview. The engine uses the PSQL dialect. Expressions can be modified to use any functions available. For example, we can modify the module expression with an if function to display the proper name instead of just letters. When we run again, we can see a new preview of the result. By default, when you run the query, the designer will assign names to columns that do not have any. Feel free to edit those for more meaningful names. Click in the sorting column to sort ascending or descending. Here, we'll sort by post order, then by transaction date. We can reverse the order by changing the number for a sorted column. The grouping aggregate column gives you access to aggregate functions such as sum and count, and the possibility to group your results. As an example, we'll add the journal row table and establish a link between the two tables using the post order field. We'll now add the amount field and set the aggregate function to sum. This way we'll only get the total for each transaction. The criteria column lets you add filtering expressions. For example, we can put a criteria to remove all beginning balance rows. When we click run, we can see that they are gone. It is also possible to use parameters that can later be linked to the worksheet. To do so, prefix the name of your parameter with the it symbol. Here, we will filter for a range of dates using a start and an end date defined as parameters. The parameter name should be a single word with no space and start with a letter. When we run the query, we are presented with a window asking to provide value for each argument. When entering a date, use a year-month date format to avoid any problem. Click OK to complete the operation. The query designer offers some advanced features that can be accessed with a right-click on the design area. From here, you can create a union query or a derived table, also known as a subquery. Click the subquery structure panel to see a detailed representation of your advanced query. To edit, copy or paste SQL commands directly, click the Show SQL button to access the SQL editor. Once you are done with your query, click the Save and Close button to return to Excel. When you create a new table, all fields will be added to the worksheet automatically. If you edit the query later, new available fields will show up in the Layouts panel. Drag and drop them to add them to the table. Delete or hide any columns you do not want. To link the parameters in your query to cells on the worksheet, open the Properties panel and click Advanced. From here you can click the Cell Selection button to set the link for the parameter. Changing the cell value and clicking Refresh will update the table accordingly. The XLGL Query Designer gives you access to powerful tools to bring your data into Excel. Explore it with the Sage 50 Data Table documentation on hand. This has been a lesson on how to edit a custom query with XLGL. Continue watching to learn more about XLGL and how you can use it to achieve outstanding reports.